warriors. We're entering February pretty soon, and you know what that means. No, not protecting children. No, not a new television show. The country will go mad for the Super Bowl. Yes, the Super Bowl. You know it, warriors. Everybody talks about the Super Bowl. Commercials, media. Well, I'm here to give you a little bit of a different angle about the Super Bowl. You know, I used to watch the Super Bowl for one thing. I'm, I'm not really into sports, but that's okay. Most people, a lot of people are. But I would watch it for the halftime show because I wanted to see those musical performances. And I just, I couldn't wait. Well, fast forward, when I started noticing, uh, I don't even know when. I have no interest anymore in the Super Bowl because I noticed that the half the halftime performances became overtly sexual and um, I'm in no way approved. I started my career in the music business. I've seen it all. But I found that boring and I found the sexualizing of women demeaning and degrading. And the fact that a lot of kids watch the Super Bowl with their families and friends and it's a big day to get together and eat and have your chili and then you've got kids in the room and uh, that's going on. So even before all my work with the Warriors, I thought, wow, why aren't more people really talking about that? Sure, I'm aging myself. If if you go back to the Janet Jackson uh, nipple exposure, I don't even remember when that was. Could have been 20 years ago. But here's what I want to tell you about the Super Bowl. We know there are usually around Super Bowl time, and it's starting around now, articles published that the Super Bowl is the biggest human trafficking event in the United States. Now, I'm here to say, I don't know that to be fact, but what I do know and can share with you is that anytime you have a large gathering of people, whether it's the Super Bowl, whether it's a concert, a festival, a convention, anywhere you have a lot of people, the criminals, the traffickers, the pimps, they're going to cash in on that. They are going to bring their vulnerable prostituted people into the fold because there's money to be made. And a lot of these people attending out of town events, also when they're not in their own environment, tend to really take advantage of these types of situations. What I don't understand is a lot of people working on trafficking and awareness, um, they kind of fight about this. Instead of saying what I'm telling you, they'll say, no, no, the Super Bowl, that's that's not the biggest human trafficking uh, event in the country for the year. We don't care about that. What we care about, I don't even know why they're wasting their time fighting that. What we care about and what we want to make you aware of is that anytime, again, there is a large event, a large gathering of people, there is human trafficking, there is exploitation. Now, what's happening? We have hope at the Warriors because there's more talk about this as far as uh, resources. We've got right now, the Super Bowl will be held in Phoenix in a couple of weeks. I do know there's an organization going around, convenience stores, gas stations, uh, supermarkets, anywhere. They've got their stickers with the human trafficking hotline number. And what I want to remind everybody for that National Human Trafficking Hotline, it's also a website. Uh, nationalhumantraffickinghotline.org, where you can connect to find local resources. You might want to just call and ask some questions. You might want to call and say, where can I volunteer in my community? So utilize that. It's a free resource. It's not just there for people trafficked because most people, especially young people, don't even realize what's going on with them. They don't even realize they are being exploited. They don't know the indicators. I've had so many people say to me, I didn't know that I was trafficked. So we have to keep raising awareness. We have to keep talking about it. We can't be arguing about the Super Bowl is the Super Bowl of trafficking. There's a lot of people at the Super Bowl, right? There's a lot of human trafficking. That's all we have to know. A lot of exploitation. So if you see something, always say something to somebody. Even if you contact me, lynnatlinswarriors.org, I can direct you. Or also use that hotline number, 888-373-7888. 
just to ask about resources or to try to report something. Always, if you see something that looks like a child or a person being coerced, it is your duty to call 911. We have to stick together. We have to take action. And we have to know. Keep your eyes and ears peeled. Because it really is in 2023, an American crisis going on. I don't care what anybody tells you. I know what Homeland Security says. I know what law enforcement tells me. And what's the bottom line? More and more kids and all people in the United States are being exploited each and every day. So we want to prevent. We want to intervene. We don't want your child or grandchild to be next. We want all of you to become warriors.